up um, the climb was at one of the creeks. Get up here and then cut to the right up onto the ridge now. I'm going to go and pipe down um, glass and some of those slits that you can see from the highway. We're on that main climb out, climb around. That's three, oh, about three o'clock. So I'll put it up here another, mm, probably only about half an hour, 45 minutes, cut up and ride up as high as I can so I can get a good vantage point and hopefully um, find somewhere where I can um, get the binos out and have a bit of a, have a, bit of a glass. Dirty old rub from last year. Not a bad size one really. I'm still just heading up the, um, up the ridge. I went up last year, I heard a few, actually heard three stags to the right of this gully, to the right inside when I was here last year. <clears throat> you know, we're, we're going to get up to the top up here, but three quarters of the way up, I should better look out and see onto those slips and open areas. And There's a couple of, couple of redskins. One just stuck up into the bushes there. Typically the wind's picked up. Still it's cool to see. So the deer film last night was about 20 past 8 and it's now about half past 9. Bugger off and hide in the bushes too quick. That's pretty cool. I was hoping they'd feed out into that, so they well, should be open for a little bit here. Should get some nice footage. It's stoked. It's not often you get to film deer out in the open in the calm I'll tell you that now. It's just basically doesn't really happen that often. Let alone two. That's awesome, I'm really stoked. They'll linger around there for a while, I'd say. Is she gonna walk up? Well, just before I pack up and bugger off, because I've got to go do some work this afternoon, I've just been waiting for these deer to sort of move together, and they finally have. So, got some nice footage of them side by side. Oh. That's pretty cool.